Hey everyone, Wayne here from Zenata Consulting. In this tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead and share one of our latest videos from our Zoho Campaigns team training course. This video covers email verification, and if you haven't done this yet, it can be detrimental to your organization, especially if you haven't ran an email campaign in quite some time or your buying list. This video, I'm gonna show you how to use an email verification tool, in this example, clearout.io, how to export your list from CRM, run it through the email verifier, bring it back into CRM, and then go ahead and set up your segments inside Zoho campaigns so they're ready to send out for your next mailer. Before I jump in though, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button below. And if you're interested in our Zoho campaigns team training course, the link will be below as well. Hope you enjoy this video. So to get started, let's go ahead and hop into the CRM. Keep in mind, you're gonna to wanna to export your leads if you have a bunch of leads. Um, in this example, I'm gonna show you the process for contacts, but it's going to be the same for both leads and contacts. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is over here in actions in the contact module, we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and export contacts. And depending on your role in the organization, this might be something that you're not able to do because most organizations have their contacts module pre-locked. So you might need to get with your system administrator, send them this video and let them walk through this process to verify the leads. So we'll go ahead and choose contacts, all contacts. You can do all fields from the custom view. We can choose fields. Really, we just need email, and last name will be fine and maybe ID, but ID should automatically pull in. So really we just need last name and email. We'll keep this export nice and simple. And we're gonna go ahead and let this run. So we'll come back in a second once this is complete. And we can see this one was quick, so we can go ahead and download our list here. And we'll call this demo six data ice. So now that we've got the demo six database, I'm going to want to open up this folder and let's go ahead and extract it. And with that extracted data, let's go ahead and hop over to clearout.io. Let's go ahead and go to email verifier. Keep in mind, clearout runs about $50 per 50,000 contacts. So depending on the size of your list, it could just be, you know, 10, $20, it could be hundreds of dollars, just depending on the size of your list. And let's go ahead and click on list. And we're gonna go ahead and add a list. Then we're gonna drag in the list we just downloaded and go to the verification process. So now let's go ahead and verify this list. And we'll come right back, we'll let this verify and it's gonna take a few minutes. Okay, so fast forwarding, we can go ahead and see that one of the sample emails is actually valid, one's unknown, one's a catch-all, and we have 10 invalid emails. So let's go ahead and download these results, and it gives you some options, only the guaranteed. I like to do custom, not remove any duplicates, which we don't have any of, but you'd essentially uncheck remove duplicates because we want to import all of the data and make sure all of the statuses are downloading. So we have valid, invalid, catch-all, and unknown. And we'll go ahead and download this list and the file download is complete and we'll go ahead and save this file. Now I'm going to go ahead and drag over something real quick because oftentimes you might want to clean up the spreadsheet before you bring it into Zoho CRM. So we'll go ahead and load the latest contacts list here. And as you can see, we have the record ID, last name, email. So we can go ahead and delete last name, the column. Because really, we're gonna use the import off the record ID. In case we have duplicate emails, this will ensure that we're not replacing other data and we're just updating the record ID. We can go ahead and leave email though. And then we're gonna have these other two columns here. And you might have many more columns depending on how you did your import, if you only did emails or if you pulled in all of the data. To make the import process simple though, we're really only going to look at these two fields. And you can, most people only use this field. I like to do both kind of as an option to pick and choose, you know, how you want to 
segment your data on the clear out. And then again, over here, it gives you some extra reasons, the hard bounce, you know, the reason for the status or verification, safe to send, why it's a no. And you can kind of go through the rest, look at their mail service, et cetera. The rest of this information over here, we don't really care about. I mean, if you want to look at it, feel free. You know, there is useful information here, but we don't really need it for what we're trying to achieve right now. So we can go ahead and delete this. And now we've got these two verification statuses. We have status and safe to send. So the next thing we're going to want to do is I'm going to move this. We need to add some fields now to the CRM. So real quick, let's go ahead and dive into the CRM modules and fields. And then even though we exported the contacts, let's go ahead and build this out in the leads module to start. And I'll show you why in a second kind of a simple best practice. So we don't have clear out verification status here. So under lead information, let's go ahead and add a pick list. And we'll call one clear out safe to send. And the options for this are no risky risky unknown and yes. So you should have these four options. We'll go ahead and save this, but first let's go ahead and create it for the contact module as well. So this will map it over. So this will just save you an extra step because most of the time we are going to be doing both leads and contacts and we want these fields mapped over. So we'll hit done with that. And then we're going to go ahead and add another pick list and we'll call this clear out verification status and same thing we're going to add our fields but this time it's going to be invalid valid catch all and unknown so once we've got that we can go ahead and save and now if we hop over to our contacts module we can see that clear out safe to send and verification status should be, oh, you see I made a mistake there where I didn't map it over. So I kind of skipped one step. So this is good. So we can go back real quick and we can look at field mapping here and go back one step here. We'll click here and then lead conversion mapping and clear out verification status so we don't have it here. So we need to add that field to the contacts module. So let's go back to fields. And you'll notice that since I didn't do it on the creation, I now have to go ahead and create it inside of um, the contacts module. So this is why it's important to kind of do it in leads first and map it over. So now let me go back over to contacts. Click on standard and I will add this pick list. Valid or invalid, valid, unknown, catch all. save. Now that we've got this field mapped, we can go ahead and go back here and then do the lead conversion mapping. And then that way we've got clear out verification status. So now we can have this mapped, but we could have just saved ourselves a lot of time by mapping it when we created it in the leads module. So now that that's done, let's go ahead and save. So now we've got the fields mapped. So now we're ready to do the import. So let's go ahead and go back over here. Let's go ahead and save our updated document just as a CSV. So that's downloaded now. And now I'm gonna go ahead and import under create contact, import contacts, browse, and then we have my latest file should be this one. 
So some rules and restrictions here. So let's just go back and we will call this clear out updated contacts. And now so I should like this. Yep, we're good. And all we're going to do is update existing contacts based on contact ID. This is important to you, especially if you have duplicates. And then we can go ahead and don't update empty values, continue. And then we can go just ahead and apply auto mapping. And it should pull in all of the proper information based on our form. If not, you can manually map it. And then we hit next and finish. So now our import's going to run. This should only take a second. While that's running, let's go ahead and go over to Zoho Campaigns now. And inside of Zoho Campaigns, under Sync Services, you're going to want to map this for both the contacts and leads. But since we just did the contacts in this example, I will show you the contacts. So then what we would do is we would edit and we would map clear out verification status and make it a new field and then clear out safe to send and then make it a new field. And now that we have those fields created, we'll go ahead and initiate the sync and we can go ahead and see this finish. So, you know, we can go ahead and clear out, you know, verification status is invalid. We can see these are all invalid emails. So now that, that our syncs are set up, let's go ahead and look at our segment. So we have this all emails here and there might be a few extra emails. So we got contact email is not empty. And if we look at the count, we've got about 20 people here. Let's go ahead and edit this. And let's go ahead and add the clear out field, clear out verification status. And in this case, we're going to want to do isn't invalid. So this will include everything but the invalid emails. And now if we hit save, this should be reduced a bit and we've got about 10. So we cut out a lot of the emails. It looks like we have some other organization emails in here as well as some other emails. So ignoring those, it did take out the invalid emails from the sample list. And for example, the reason I want to do isn't invalid is it also pulls in emails that haven't been verified yet. So ideally, you know, you're running this, you know, and you might not run it again. If we did something in the other words, like if we did is valid, then the problem is this segment is only going to show one. And this was the example email that we had here. You're going to only want to use isn't invalid and this will keep your list most up to date. Get rid of all the bad emails. You're going to keep all of those bad emails. You can even remove them from your database, but they might be tied to records or something. So you might not want to delete them. But in this case, this will let your next email campaign be as clean as possible when you send it out. If you're going to start sending emails out on a regular basis, you don't really need to run clear out because there's always going to be bounces and there's always going to be unsubscribes. That's inevitable. So your list will remain mostly clean if you're sending out emails on a regular basis. If you're not, you're going to want to rerun through this process every few months, um, depending on the time in between sending out email campaigns. That's going to wrap it up for using clearout.io and I will see you in the next video.